what WTF, man. WTF. Nobody saw that coming on Ruby. I swear to you not. Nobody saw that coming. No one thought that Pira, like, it's reasonable, but no one believed it. It's the trailers in the name of the show, in the main character. We all thought Ruby was going to be the Guardian Odd Pen was looking for. But now that you just sit there and think about it, you just sit there and think about it. You see, Ruby's not entirely ready. She's still inexperienced. She's not as smart and wise as Pyrrha is. Pyrrha is strong, intelligent, strong-willed, and very kind. So, she has more feats than Ruby has, and of course, more experience. No matter how good Ruby is, she is still not that symbol of hope just yet. Symbol of hope to come, but not that main focus. So that's the thing I kind of found out here, and a lot of you were pretty much shocked. Looking at the comments, and when other watched the Ruby episode when it came out, people were shocked, saying, Whoa, I didn't see that coming. But yet again, it makes a lot of sense. But that hard pill to swallow before all that even happened. This whole entire episode was mainly about two fights, but mainly one fight. First fight, of course, Penny finally gets to see her partner. Her partner didn't do anything. She's just there to supervise Penny and stuff. And Penny kind of wants to go to begin, but... You know that ain't happening. Now, <laughs> with Team Funky, Team Funky was pretty cool. Flint in Neon, Neon of course, Neon Raven. She is a she's a faunus, you know. So I guess she's also the part animal creature thing, just like Blake and so part of the Atlas accepts her. So I wanted going on there, because Weiss did say that Atlas is mostly strict and more coordinated. These guys were coordinated, but in their own way, you know. And Flint was musical. Flint, your design was genius. I love Flint's design. Flint, to me, was the best thing out of this whole entire episode. Neon looked a little bit too overdoing it, a little trying too hard. But, Flint... You are beautiful. I love that trumpet playing. I also love the melodies that was going wrong with the whole entire fight. That was just freaking amazing. And I also love um, Flint's semblance. I love how he was just going forward with him and just blowing it away. If you look at his design, his design actually looks like a character I once cosplayed to event. Um, a guy named Yuki Terumi. Pretty much his his um pretty much his business suit design, even with the loosened tie, looks just like Yuki Terumi's design. So maybe Rooster Teeth had a little inspiration because remember, the majority of Ru um Ruby's characters are based off of freaking other characters, mythological or even other animes and video games. So I wouldn't be surprised if Flint's character design, his like his the way he acts, not the way he acts, but the way he looks, is mostly based off of Hazuma slash Yuki. So I kind of have a theory on that. Who knows? Probably they have their own. But I wouldn't be surprised because Blaze Blue is a pretty much a big fighting game. Well, where I come from, anyways. <sighs> Weiss wasn't doing so well in this one. Weiss needs a lot of improvement. She needs a lot of improvement, man. She couldn't handle her own with Flint. Even after doing that awesome sacrificial move, she still didn't really take Flint out. So, Weiss kind of died in vain. Weiss was pretty much useless, and Yang lost her cool. <laughs> so, yeah. This, this, was, this was a good episode. It was fun. It was amusing. It was a good fight. Not much to be released. The only important thing that we did find out is who is the Guardian that Mr. Oz has probably chosen. And everyone's looking at Pira. She was the last part to see. So, more likely, it's going to be Pira. But that was the only bit of piece of information, so this episode gets up a 7 out of 10. It was fun, entertaining, very colorful, unique music sung by this person this time. Very good music. I loved it very much. The jazz tone, you know, it was really nice. But other than that, that was it. When you get much information or much character development. And plus, oh yeah, um, Cinder has her eye on Penny now. And whatever she's going to do with Penny is to make it a lot easier for her. 
that's not a good thing. So anyway, that's got for today. If you like this video, please drop a like, rate, comment, subscribe, share if you could. I'll be much obliged. This is Malcolm Anatomy. Sign up.